a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Dirk Nowitzki Dirk Werner Nowitzki is a German professional basketball player for the Dallas Mavericks of the National Basketball Association, an alumnus of Röntgen Gymnasium and the DJK Würzburg Basketball Club. Nowitzki was chosen as the ninth pick in the 1998 NBA draft by the Milwaukee Bucks and immediately traded to the Mavericks, where he has played since. Listed at, Nowitzki is considered to be one of the greatest power forwards of all time. He is also one of only seven players ever to play at least 20 seasons in the NBA, and the second to do so with a single franchise. Nowitzki has led the Mavericks to 15 NBA playoffs, including the franchise's first finals appearance in 2006 and only championship in 2011. He is a 13-time All-Star, a 12-time All-NBA team member, and the first European player to start in an All-Star game as well as the first to receive the NBA Most Valuable Player Award. Nowitzki is the highest scoring foreign-born player in NBA history and the sixth player to achieve over 30,000 regular season points. He is also one of seven players who achieved a 50-40-90 season. He is the first Maverick voted onto an All-NBA team and holds several all-time Mavericks franchise records. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Nowitzki are the only players to achieve four consecutive 30-point. 15 rebound postseason games. Nowitzki is the only player to record at least 31,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 3,000 assists, 1,000 steals, 1,000 blocks, and 1,000 three point field goals. Nowitzki led the German national basketball team to a bronze medal in the 2002 FIBA World Championship and silver in Eurobasket 2005, and was the leading scorer and MVP in both tournaments. He was named the Eurosca European Basketball Player of the Year by the Italian sports newspaper Gazzotta dello Sport for five years running, from 2002 to 2006 and again in 2011. He was also named the Mr. Europa European Player of the Year by the Italian sports magazine Super Basket in 2005, and the Fiber Europe Men's Player of the Year twice in 2005 and 2011. On December 18, 2011, Nowitzki was named the 2011 German Sports Personality of the Year, the first basketball player to receive the award. On December 10, 2012, he became the first non-American player to receive the Naismith Legacy Award. Early Life Born in Würzburg, Germany, Nowitzki comes from an athletic family. His mother Helga Nowitzki was a professional basketball player, and his father Jörg Werner was a handball player who represented Germany at the highest international level. His older sister Zilke Nowitzki, a local champion in track and field, also became a basketball player and now works for the NBA and international TV. Nowitzki was a very tall child. Most of the time he stood above his peers by a foot or more. He initially played handball and tennis, but soon grew tired of being called a freak for his height and eventually turned to basketball. After joining the local DJ K Würzburg, the 15-year-old attracted the attention of former German international basketball player Holger Jeschwindner, who spotted his talent immediately and offered to coach him individually two to three times per week. After getting both the approval of Nowitzki and his parents, Jeshvindner put his student through an unorthodox training scheme. He emphasized shooting and passing exercises, and shunned weight training and tactical drills, because he felt it was unnecessary friction. Furthermore, Jeshvindner encouraged Nowitzki to play a musical instrument and read literature to make him a more complete personality. After a year, the coach was so impressed with Nowitzki's progress that he advised him. You must now decide whether you want to play against the best in the world or just stay a local hero in Germany. If you choose the latter, we will stop training immediately, because nobody can prevent that anymore. But if you want to play against the best, we have to train on a daily basis. After pondering this lifetime decision for two days, Nowitzki agreed to enter the full-time training schedule, choosing the path to his eventual international career. Jeschwindner let him train seven days a week with DJK Würzburg players and future German internationals Robert Garrett, Marvin Willoughby, and Demond Green, and in the summer of 1994, then 16-year-old Nowitzki made the DJK squad. 
DJ K Wurzberg 1994-1998. When Nowitzki joined the team, DJ K played in Germany's second-tier level league, the second Bundesliga, South Division. His first trainer was Pitt Stahl, who played the tall teenager as an outside scoring forward rather than an inside scoring center, to utilize his shooting skills. In the 1994-95 second Bundesliga season, ambitious DJK finished as a disappointing sixth of 12 teams. The rookie Nowitzki was often benched and struggled with bad school grades, which forced him to study rather than work on his game. In the next 1995-96 second Bundesliga season, Nowitzki established himself as a starter next to Finnish star forward Marty Quismar, and soon became a regular double-digit scorer, after German national basketball coach Dirk Bauermann saw him score 24 points in a DJK game. He stated that, Dirk Nowitzki is the greatest German basketball talent of the last 10, maybe 15 years. DJK finished second in the South Division, but could not earn promotion after losing, 86-62, in the deciding match versus PG Ludwigsburg. In that game, Nowitzki scored only 8 points. In the 1996-97 second Bundesliga season, the team's top scorer Quisma left the team, and Jesh Windner replaced Pitt Stahl as head coach. Filling the void, Nowitzki averaged 19.4 points per game and led DJK again to second place after the regular season, but could not help his team gain promotion. In the following 1997-98 second Bundesliga season, Nowitzki finished his obituary, but had to do compulsory military service in the Bundeswehr which lasted from September 1, 1997 to June 30, 1998. Nowitzki described this period as a tough time at first. We had no privileges and had to participate in all the drills. Later it was much more relaxed. Concerning basketball, the 18-year-old, who had grown to six feet tall, made progress, leading DJK to a 36-4 point total and ending as leading scorer with 28.2 points per game. In the promotion playoffs, DJK finally broke its hex finishing at first place with 14 to 2 points and earning promotion to the next higher league. Nowitzki scored 26 points in the deciding 95-88 twin against Freiburg and was voted German Basketballer of the Year by the German Basket magazine. Abroad, Nowitzki's progress was noticed. In 1996, FC Barcelona Basquet wanted to sign him, but Nowitzki refused to move before finishing his obituary. A year later, the teenager participated in the Nike Hoop Heroes Tour, where he played against NBA stars like Charles Barkley and Scottie Pippen. In a 30-minute show match, Nowitzki outplayed Barkley, and even dunked on him, causing the latter to exclaim, The boy is a genius. If he wants to enter the NBA, he can call me. On March 29, 1998, Nowitzki was chosen to play in the Nike Hoop Summit. One of the premier talent watches in U.S. men's basketball. In a match between the U.S. talents and the international talents, Nowitzki scored 33 points on 6 of 12 shooting, 14 rebounds and 3 steals for the internationals, and outplayed future U.S. NBA players Richard Lewis and Al Harrington. He impressed with a combination of quickness, ball handling, and shooting range, and from that moment a multitude of European and NBA clubs wanted to recruit him. Difficult start, 1998-99. After leading DJ K. Wurzburg to promotion and with his obituary and military service behind him, Nowitzki looked to the NBA for his future. Projected to be seventh pick in the 1998 NBA draft, he passed up many college offers and went directly into the NBA as a then still rare prep to pro player. In particular, Rick Patino and Don Nelson, head coaches of the Boston Celtics and Dallas Mavericks respectively, were highly interested in acquiring him. After a 45-minute private workout with Patino, where Nowitzki showcased his versatile shooting, rebounding, and passing skills, the Boston coach immediately compared him to Celtics legend Larry Bird. Patino assured Nowitzki that he would draft him, with the Celtics' first-round draft pick at zero. However, Pitino's plan was foiled by Nelson, whose team had the sixth pick. Nelson worked out draft day deals with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. The Mavericks wanted Nowitzki and Suns reserve point guard Steve Nash. The Bucks desired muscular forward Robert Trailer, 
who was projected to be drafted before Nowitzki, and the Suns had set their sights on forward Pat Garrity, who was projected as a low first-round pick. In the draft, the Mavericks drafted Trailer with their sixth pick, and the Bucks selected Nowitzki with their ninth and Garrity with their nineteenth pick. The Mavericks then traded Trailer to the Bucks for Nowitzki and Garrity, and they in return traded the latter to Phoenix for Nash. In retrospect, Don Nelson, who had once coached the Bucks, had an outstanding trade instinct, essentially trading future career underachievers Trailer and Garrity for two future NBA MVPs in Nowitzki and Nash. In addition, the new recruits quickly became close friends. Nowitzki became only the fourth German player in NBA history, following pivots Uwe Blab and Christian Vailp and all-star swingman Detlef Schrempf, who was a 35-year-old veteran of the Seattle Supersonics when his young compatriot arrived. Nowitzki finished his DJK career as the only Würzburg player to have ever made the NBA. In Dallas, Nowitzki joined a franchise which had last made the playoffs in 1990. Shooting guard Michael Finley captained the squad, supported by seven feet center Sean Bradley, once a number two draft pick, and team scoring leader Cedric Ceballos, an ex Laker forward. Nowitzki experienced a rocky start prior to the 1998 99 NBA season. Team owners sought changes to the league's salary cap system. These plans were opposed by the National Basketball Players Association, which led to the owners imposing a lockout, putting the entire season in jeopardy. In limbo, Nowitzki returned to DJK Würzburg, and played 13 games before both sides worked out a late compromise deal that resulted in a shortened schedule of only 50 instead of 82 regular season games. When the season finally started, Nowitzki struggled. Played as a power forward by coach Don Nelson, the 20-year-old felt overpowered by the more athletic NBA forwards, was intimidated by the expectations as a number 9 pick, and played bad defense causing hecklers to taunt him as Irk Nowitzki, omitting the D, which stands for defense in basketball slang. He only averaged 8.2 points and 3.4 rebounds in 20.4 minutes of playing time. Looking back, Nowitzki said, I was so frustrated I even contemplated going back to Germany. The jump from second Bundesliga to the NBA was like jumping out of an airplane hoping the parachute would somehow open. The Mavericks only won 19 of their 50 games and missed the playoffs, although Nowitzki completed the season with eight double-digit scoring games out of the last 12. Big 3, 1-9-2-0-4 In the 1-9-2-0 NBA season, Don Nelson wanted to use Nowitzki as a point forward to make use of his passing skills. However, one of the most important moves was made off the hardwood. Until then, the owner of the Mavericks was Ross Perot Jr. who had bought the franchise for $125 million, but had no plans of investing in players and admitted he knew little of basketball. On January 4, 2000, he sold the Mavericks to internet billionaire Mark Cuban for $280 million. Cuban quickly invested into the Mavericks and restructured the franchise, attending every game at the sidelines, buying the team a $46 million six-star Boeing 757 for traveling, and increasing franchise revenues to over $100 million. Nowitzki lauded Cuban. He created the perfect environment. We only have to go out and win. As a result of Nelson's tutelage, Cuban's improvements and his own progress, Nowitzki significantly improved his averages. The second-year pro now averaged 17.5 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 2.5 assists per game in 35.8 minutes, had nine double-double games, and scored a career-high 32 points twice. He was voted runner-up in the NBA Most Improved Player Award behind Jalen Rose and made it into the NBA All-Star sophomore squad along with Piers Paul Pierce and Vince Carter. In the traditional rookie sophomore match, he scored 17 points, grabbed six rebounds, and dished out four assists in an overtime loss against the rookie team led by Steve Francis and Lamar Odom. The seven featuring Nowitzki also was chosen for the NBA All-Star three-point shootout, becoming the tallest player ever to participate. After draining 15 shots in the first shootout, he entered the final round, where he finished as runner-up to Jeff Horner Seek. While he improved on an individual level, the Mavericks missed the playoffs after a mediocre 40-42 season. 
In the 2001 NBA season, Nowitzki further improved his averages, recording 21.8 points, 9.2 rebounds, and 2.1 assists per game. Now playing the power forward position, he became the second player in NBA history after Robert Ory to score 100 three-pointers and 100 blocks in the regular season by registering 151 and 101, respectively. As a sign of his growing importance, he joined team captain Finley as only one of two Mavericks to play and start in all 82 games and had 10 games in which he scored at least 30 points. Nowitzki became the first Maverick ever to be voted into the All-NBA squads, making the third team. In addition, his best friend Nash became a valuable point guard, and, with Finley scoring more than ever, pundits were calling this trio the Big Three of the Mavericks. Posting a 53-29 record in the regular season, the Mavericks reached the playoffs for the first time since 1990. As the fifth seed, they were paired against the Utah Jazz of all-time assist leader John Stockton and second all-time leading scorer Karl Malone. After losing the first two games, Nowitzki scored 33 points in games 3 and 4 and helped to tie the series. In Game 5, the Mavericks trailed the entire game until Calvin Booth made a layup that put them ahead, 84-83, with 9.8 seconds left. Jazz players Brian Russell and Malone missed last-second shots and the Mavericks won setting up a meeting with Texas rival San Antonio Spurs. The Mavericks lost the first three games, and Nowitzki fell ill with flu and later lost a tooth after a collision with Spurs guard Terry Porter. After a Game 4 win, Nowitzki scored 42 points and grabbed 18 rebounds in Game 5, but could not prevent a deciding 105-87 loss. While Sports Illustrated pointed out that the Mavericks shot badly during Game 5, Nowitzki was lauded for scoring his playoff career-high 42 points. Nowitzki said, It's a disappointment to end the season on a blowout. Prior to the 2001-02 NBA season, Nowitzki signed a six-year, $90 million contract extension, which made him the second-highest-paid German athlete after Formula One champion Michael Schumacher. He continued to improve, now averaging 23.4 points, 9.9 .9 rebounds and 2.4 assists per game, was voted into the All-NBA second team and into his first All-Star game. He also had 13 games with at least 30 points and 10 rebounds, third behind Shaquille O'Neal and Tim Duncan, powered by new recruit Nick Van Exel, who became a high-scoring sixth man. The Mavericks, Big Three, convincingly made the playoffs with a 57-25 record. The Mavericks swept Kevin Garnett and the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round of the 2002 NBA Playoffs 3-0. Nowitzki outscored Garnett with 33.3 points per game versus 24.0. In the second round, the Mavericks met the Sacramento Kings with rival power forward Chris Webber. After splitting the first two games, Kings coach Rick Adelman changed his defensive scheme. Before, Webber had defended Nowitzki one-on-one, -on -one, but now, the Kings coach ordered his smaller, but quicker player Hido Turkoglu to cover Nowitzki. Turkoglu would use his agility to play Nowitzki tightly, and if the taller Maverick tried to post up Turkoglu, Weber would double-team Nowitzki. In Game 3 in Dallas, the Mavericks lost, 125-119. Nowitzki scored only 19 points and said, I simply could not pass Turkoglu, and if I did, I ran into a double-team and committed too many turnovers. In Game 4, more frustration awaited the German. The Mavericks gave away a 14-point lead, although the entire Kings starting front court of center Vlad Divac and power forward Chris Webber and small forward Bayar Stojakovic were eliminated in the closing stages of the game. Nowitzki missed two potentially game-deciding jump shots, and the Mavericks lost 115-113 at home. In Game 5, the demoralized Mavericks were no match for the spirited Kings, lost, 114-101, and were eliminated again. Among others, NBA.com remarked that the Kings defended better than the Mavericks. In those five games, the statisticians counted 115 Sacramento layups against the Mavericks, meaning the Kings averaged 23 uncontested baskets per game. However, Nowitzki received a consolation award. The Gazzetta dello Sport voted him as European Basketballer of the Year. 
his 104 votes lifting him over second-placed Dejan Bodoroga and Stoyakovic. Before the 2002-03 NBA season, Don Nelson and Mark Cuban put more emphasis on defense in the training drills, specializing in a zone defense anchored by prolific shot blockers Roef Lafrenz and Sean Bradley. The Mavericks won their first 11 games, and Finley, Nash and Nowitzki were voted Western Conference Players of the Month. In November 2002, in that season, Nowitzki lifted his averages again, now scoring 25.1 points, 9.9 .9 rebounds and 3.0 assists per game. In addition, the German had 41 double-double games, the seventh highest figure that season. By averaging 25.1, he became the first European to score 2,000 points in a season. As a reward, he was voted into the All-Star Game and the All-NBA Second Team again and was also runner-up in the German Athlete of the Year election, only losing to ski jumper Sven Hannawald. He led the Mavericks to a franchise-high 60-22 record, which earned them the third seed. As a result, the Mavericks had to play sixth-seed Portland Trail Blazers in the 2003 NBA playoffs. Now playing in a best-of-seven series instead of the former best-of-five, the Mavericks quickly won the first three games, but then completely lost their rhythm in the next three. In Game 7, Portland held the game close, but Nowitzki hit a clutch three to make it 194 with 121 left and the Mavericks won 107-95. This was the most important basket of my career, he later said. I was not prepared to go on vacation that early. He later added in an ESPN interview, we had to be more physical in the paint and rebound the ball. We worked hard all season to get the home court advantage and we used that advantage today. In the next round, the Mavericks met the Kings again. After losing Game 1 at home 124-113, Nowitzki and veteran sixth man Van Exel led Dallas to a spectacular 132-110 Game 2 win in which the Mavericks scored 83 points in the first half. Helped by the fact that Kings star forward Chris Webber injured his meniscus, Nowitzki and Van Exel led the Mavericks to a 141-137 odd win in Game 3, before dropping Game 4 99-83, where Nowitzki only scored 11 points and was ejected after angrily kicking over a load of towels. After splitting the next two games, Nowitzki delivered a clutch performance in Game 7, scoring 30 points grabbing 19 rebounds and playing strong defense, and led the Mavericks to a series deciding 112-99 win. ESPN lauded Nowitzki as, Big D, and after again winning a Game 7, the German added, We've really learned how to close games out. In the Western Conference Finals, the Mavericks met the Spurs again. In Game 1 in San Antonio, Nowitzki scored 38 points on Duncan and led his team to a 113-110 win. In Game 2, Duncan quickly put Nowitzki in foul trouble, and the Spurs equalized the series with a 132-110 win. In Game 3, Nowitzki went up for a rebound, and Spurs guard Manu Ginobili collided with his knee forcing him out of the series, without their top scorer, the Mavericks still fought valiantly, and trailed, 3-2, before Spurs guard Steve Kerr got hot from beyond the arc late in Game 6 to help San Antonio clinch the series, with a 90-78 victory. Don Nelson later commented, We were playing so well for so long and the bottom just dropped out. We went cold, at the wrong time. Nowitzki took very little consolation in the fact that he again was voted European Basketballer of the Year, and was named Best European Basketballer in a general survey of the NBA general managers. In the 2003-04 NBA season, Cuban and Nelson decided to add more offensive wing players to their squad. As a result, the Mavericks acquired two all-star forwards, namely Golden State Warriors all-star forward Antoine Jamison and Antoine Walker who came for Centre Roef La France. Basketball experts were wary about the latter trade, because it sent away the Mavericks' starting centre. They argued it left a hole in the middle that the aging, injury-prone backup pivot Sean Bradley could not fill anymore. Unable to trade for a new centre, Nelson decided to start the prolific rebounder Nowitzki at pivot put Walker on Nowitzki's usual power forward spot, and played Jamison as a high-scoring sixth man. To cope with his more physical role, Nowitzki put on 20 pounds of muscle mass over summer. 
sacrificed part of his agility, and put more emphasis on defense rather than scoring. As a result, his averages fell, for the first time in his career, dropping to 21.8 points, 8.7 rebounds and 2.7 assists per game, but he still led the Mavericks in scoring, rebounding, steals and blocks. These figures earned him nominations for the All-Star Game and the All-NBA Third Team. Compiling a 52-30 record, the Mavericks met their familiar rivals the Sacramento Kings once again, but were eliminated in five. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?